Uh, well, dystonia is a uh, uh, neurological dis dis uh, condition, let's just say it that way. Okay, and um, I've had it for about six years. Wow. Okay, and it, what it does, it, it affects my muscles in my body. They, they fight against each other. And so, and it's very uh, painful, okay, and very uncomfortable. And um, what it does is, um, you know, by, by the pulling and, and the twisting of my muscles, um, it, it tends to make me uh, look like an afflicted uh, type of way. I have generalized dystonia, which is all over full body. So I have it from head to toe. It was noticed when I was a teenager, but we weren't sure what it was. So they called it an anxiety attack, a physical anxiety attack, but it was actually signs of dystonia. I was 17. Yes, I was a small time model. Um, I did uh, bike shows, motorcycle shows, um, I did some calendars, um, the lights, like you said, was pretty harsh, and I was noticing symptoms then, but back then I was better, I wasn't like I was, am now. I was also in college to become a computer programmer, and, um, Life was really looking up for me until it got bad in the past couple of years. I had to drop out of school because of dystonia. What treatments are available, the, the treatment that I'm taking is uh, called Botox. Oh. Uh, now, most females have heard of Botox because of, you know, cosmetic wise. Mm -hmm. uh, but I take it uh, for the dystonia, uh, I take it uh, once uh, a shot, once every three months. Now when I take, when I go for that appointment, I have to be, take uh, about 15 shots at a time. Wow. And, uh, and, and that's very, very painful. And they, they give me shots all over my body. Now, um, which quadrant is the quadrant is uh, you know, in this area? Yeah. Oh, I, oh, I, so yeah, the right side yeah, more? Yeah. Okay. Now, I only have 50, yeah. so I want to use it judiciously yeah and um, so we can go the best thing is to go by where your symptoms are so yeah. point with your hand where it is uh, it really hurts up in this area here show me again uh, right in here. Uh, yeah. tell me what I'm doing right here right there yeah some more in that one? Yeah, right there, right okay. there. Okay, now that that like, seizes up on you? Yeah. Uh, Doc, how does Botox work? Okay, so uh, Botox is, um, it is uh, synthesized, it's actually made by bacteria, and um, it's one of the most potent neurotoxins known to man. Now, it's very, very small doses, but it's taken up by the nerve, and you put it in the muscle and it's taken up by the nerve and it prevents the release of the neurotransmitter that causes the muscle to contract and it does that by binding to a protein that um, pulls the, uh, the neurotransmitter to the membrane and so that protein is resynthesized in about three months and that's why you keep needing the medicine so, um, so again, you inject it into the muscle, it's taken up by the nerve, and um, at the nerve terminal, it prevents the release of the neurotransmitter. So if you can't release neurotransmitter, you can't, um, you can't contract the muscle. And it's all based, it's all degrees, it's not yes or no. A muscle has, you know, millions of fibers, and you might hit, you know, 200,000 of them. So it's all a matter of degrees. And uh, he has dystonia so uh, diffuse that sometimes you hit one area and um, another one acts up. 
uh, you hit the area that counts and then the muscle finds a way to contract around it. So it's like, it's like a moving target. Wow. Yeah. Now you're doing something for awareness. Yes, yes. What is it that you're doing? Well, what, what, what we're doing is uh, we open up a uh, foundation and it's called Dystonia Matters. And, um, you know, we just started that foundation and so it, it's not really out yet, but it's gonna be kicked off pretty soon. And uh, we, we just wanna uh, have everyone get knowledgeable about the illness because there's a lot of people who don't know about the disease. There's a lot of people who, you know, when I tell them what uh, illness that I have, they say, I don't know, I've never heard of I've that. I've never heard of it until yes, the last see. time when you mentioned it. Yes. And I know that the last time when you were here, you had a problem with the lights. Yes, yes, the lights. You know, that's a trigger. Uh, the lights are trigger. Loud music is a trigger. Uh, when it rains, uh, sunlight, you know, everything uh, extreme uh, triggers dystonia. You know, I mean, uh, I get an attack every day. Oh, wow. But, uh, but when I have those conditions and those scenarios, that's when I get it very bad. So what do you do when you get these attacks? I mean, um, it depends on where you are. How do you handle this? Well, if I'm driving, you yeah. know, I, I, I tend to t tell when it's coming on. Uh, either pull over. What are your symptoms? I mean, what do you? Well, my, my muscles tend to uh, flare up and everything, and my body uh, seize, seize up, and so it basically just sets down. And uh, so that's what I have to uh, have someone else take the wheel, or you know, I say that when it happens, uh, it happens for 15 minutes, or it happens the whole entire day. When I'm in bed, I just can't move. Wow, this you sounds know. so serious. I mean, especially if you're driving. Yes, yes, it is, it is. I mean, over 400,000 people mm -hmm. have this condition, but really no one knows about it, okay? Uh, I mean, like uh, MS, right. uh, Parkinson's, those are cousins to dystonia. But dystonia mm -hmm. has more people in it than all those other diseases uh, conditions combined oh, wow. and so and they still haven't found a cure no I know I wish mm -hmm. they would find a cure I'm yes, sure they're yes. doing some researches or something to get this thing because yes. it seems like a very um, serious thing and the last time you were here I just mm -hmm. thought maybe it was lights yes I didn't think it was that involved yes it is it is can mm -hmm. you tell us again of the awareness so that yes. people can be aware of this because sometimes yes. we may have it and we don't even know right well uh, once again if, uh, you know, like, like for me, you know, how I found out about it, um, you know, I was uh, at work and then my arm felt like it was, it, my whole shoulder felt like it was dislocated. Mm -hmm. And I know I wasn't doing anything for my shoulder to get dislocated, but um, it, it happened and then it started very, very painful. Then my, my arms and my hands started moving in a mm -hmm. unconditional way, uncommon way. And um, then I didn't know what to do. Uh, they called the ambulance, and uh, and they came and they, you know, they treated me. Mm -hmm. So if, if it affects your throat, you know, mm. and then it's, it's, it stops me from speaking, you know. Oh, wow. And um, you know, like there's a various types of dystonia. You know, they have it where they have the they got it, they call it eye fluctuation dystonia. Mm -hmm. You can have it uh, in your legs your foot, your back, and uh, that's called uh, focal dystonia. Mm -hmm, okay. and, and what I have is uh, generalized dystonia, which is all of them combined. And so, so if, you, if you see somebody, uh, and you know, there's no way to tell yeah. too uh, that, that, that the person has dystonia. Because um, when we went to the doctors, uh, the doctor can't even diagnose me because he didn't know what I had. So, uh, so me and my wife, we looked it up, mm -hmm. and uh, she actually diagnosed with me um, by having that illness because I had all the symptoms of dystonia. Wow, mm -hmm. this is interesting. Dystonia, mm -hmm. look it up. Yes, look it up. Because you never know. I mean, these days anything can happen to anybody. Yes, yes. You know. So, is there anything that we haven't covered that you'd like to tell me about dystonia? Well, I mean, I mean, we covered everything. Yeah. But I, I would just like to say, just uh, you know, people out there, just do your research on mm -hmm. dystonia. Um, 
you know, because uh, if if a person has the stone ear, uh, one way that you can tell is because if he uh, that person will tend to become aloof. Mm -hmm. He he doesn't want to socialize with anybody. Right. He doesn't want to uh, go any place. You know, I mm -hmm. stayed in my house for a whole year because I, I didn't want to go out aside because I didn't know when that, that condition would affect me and would come on. Oh, wow. So, you know, definitely. So if they see anybody with the stone ear, smile with them, yeah. tell them hi, give them a hug, you know, shake their hands, you know, don't treat them like an outcast. 